Understanding, not have a clue, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a common English phrase, not have a clue. This phrase is used frequently in everyday conversations, and understanding it can really help you in grasping the nuances of the English language. Let's dive into what it means and how to use it correctly. When someone says they do not have a clue, they are essentially expressing that they lack knowledge or understanding about a particular subject or situation. It's a way of admitting ignorance without being too formal. For example, if someone asks you about quantum physics and you know nothing about it, you might say, I don't have a clue about quantum physics. This phrase can be used in various contexts. In a casual conversation, it's often used to admit that you don't know the answer to a question. In a more formal setting, like a business meeting, it can be a polite way to express that you need more information. It's important to understand the context to use this phrase appropriately. Be cautious not to confuse, not have a clue, with phrases that have a different meaning. For example, have a clue, without, not, suggests that someone does understand or know about something. Also, remember that, not have a clue, is used for lack of knowledge, not for inability to do something physically. Let's see some examples. 1. When it comes to cooking, I really don't have a clue. 2. Do you know where John is? Sorry, I don't have a clue. 3. In a business context, regarding the new marketing strategy, I don't have a clue, but I'll find out and get back to you. That's all for today's lesson on the phrase, not have a clue. Remember, it's a handy phrase to express lack of knowledge in a simple and informal way. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of how and when to use it. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be using it like a native speaker. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.